Hi guys, this is Albert Hellman here. We are going to do a super duper barbecue sauce based on Argentinian chimichurri sauce. Okay, it's uh, not the original recipe. It's a little bit made up by me. So what we need is that we need the empty jar to put all the ingredients. And I chopped earlier, not to waste time. We have rosemary here. Let me show you. Rosemary, uh, dill, chopped, uh, parsley, fresh green onion, and the regular onion. They're already chopped. All right. And we have some Italian seasoning. You can add a little bit. Uh, Turkish red pepper. Uh, we don't need this. We have fresh parsley. Oregano leaves dry a little bit to add balsamic and uh, apple vinegar to uh, to make the chemicals work uh, green grind of uh, black pepper olive oil we need lots of olive oil you can add a little bit uh, chili and kosher salt a little bit soya sauce if you like and a bit Cinnamon sugar, we'll see, it depends, one or two, one and a half uh, lemon, that's it. So, what we are going to do, we are going to, ah, of course, we have the za'atar, za'atar from Lebanon or Israel, from Turkey, something very nice. I wish you could smell it, I put it on, on the hummus, <laughs> when I bring it abroad, uh, people think that, hey, what is this thing? What are you bringing here? <laughs> but uh, it's uh, Zata. Anyway, so I'll put everything in the empty jar and I will show it to you. So, as I said, I put it everything in this jar looks hmm shaky 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 very well you can shake it for five minutes after that what we are going to do is to put it in the fridge regular fridge keep it like two days is the best your chimichurri sauce is ready basically yeah. put on your barbecue now it is so delicious. Oh my gosh. You see how it's creamy. Very yummy. Very, very beautiful. Enjoy.